across the area. We actually have meteorologist Pete Sack. He's in Indy at the Speedway. And Pete, oh man, look at those crowds. People are filling in for sure. Yeah, the crowds, the stands have been slowly filling up for the last several hours here. Uh, fans have been trickling in because they have some things going on in the infield area, but they're starting to certainly fill up the grandstands. And what's unique about today, Aisha, is that once uh, the 2 o'clock hour comes around local time here, these fans up in the stands are going to be allowed to go into pit row and onto the famed Brickyard race course here to watch the total solar eclipse as it happens. Now we're about 50 minutes or so away from the event beginning and by that that's when the moon will first start eclipsing or moving in front of the sun. We won't really notice it though. The only way you'll be able to see it is with glasses but it will at least mark the start of the event until we get to 306 and that's when we'll start to see totality occur and just one second before 308 is when we'll see this area plunged into total darkness. It should be an amazing sight because right now there are a few high thin clouds overhead. So we don't have completely blue skies, but the clouds are thin enough that it should allow the stars in the sky to come out. That's how dark it's gonna get here. We're actually gonna be able to see stars and perhaps Jupiter and Venus because they're uh, very bright objects in the night sky. We might be able to see those planets as well once the total eclipse really begins and settles in. It's amazing that we, we have all this stuff going on here. All these fans are coming in here and all the people are watching and we've gone to great pains to bring this event to you all for three minutes and 51 seconds of totality. But uh, Aisha, this is the third time I've witnessed uh, an eclipse. The first one was in race car going past. <laughs> The first one was in May of 1994. That was an annular eclipse, and I was in Peoria. But I was in Carbondale in 2017, and I, I'll be witnessing this one in 2024. And I can honestly tell you, it is an incredibly unique experience, and I cannot be more excited to not only witness it myself, but to bring it to the people at home who aren't able to make it and witness it themselves. It is, again, just a, a very incredible sight. And it really gives you um, a, a feeling of amazement at the, the wonders of the universe. All right, Pete. Oh, okay. I like that. <laughs> uh, cut, cutting in and out. It's getting a little loud here. Uh, let, me, let me tell you what they've been doing here for the fans in attendance. In addition to the race cars zipping past, They've had a lot of interviews with uh, experts from NASA who are helping to explain what everybody's going to be seeing here. They've occasionally had a, a nice uh, Eclipse soundtrack playing in the background as well. So, yeah, it's getting a little noisy. I might switch to a headset for the next uh, the next segments coming up here. But uh, for now, as you can see, with the fans coming in here, the beautiful conditions, blue skies, sunshine, nice temperatures. I don't know if we could have asked for better weather. Well done, Aisha. <laughs> You're welcome, Pete. Uh, Mother Nature, you know, I have her own speed dial, so all I got to do is push a button and, you know. <laughs> all right, things are looking really nice across the region. Hopefully you're able to get out there and enjoy the eclipse. Don't forget the glasses. We will have more coverage coming up at 1230. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm meteorologist Aisha Scott. Thank you for joining us on this exciting day for our special solar eclipse coverage. I want to start off with a look at satellite and radar only because we know how big of a deal the weather plays in events like this. But you'll notice we are pretty lucky here in the Chicagoland area, but even across most of the region, we're pretty quiet. We've got a lot of sunshine out there right now. Now, the forecast, if you are in the Chicago area here at home, temperature wise will dip to the low 60s at eclipse time because remember 94 percent of the sun will be covered by the moon so the temperatures will take a little bit of a dip but we'll make it to right around 70 still that sunshine will go through the rest of the afternoon and then temperatures start to fall back into the lower 60s later on tonight now we've got crews across the region who are keeping an eye on the solar eclipse we're going to actually send it over to Maricela Vasquez she's actually in Carbondale where they are expecting total a total solar eclipse, so you're in the path of totality, Maricela. 
Yes, the oh, the doors just open for the crowd. They're starting to revive in one minute. They're about to launch this solar eclipse balloons and we have here the spokesperson for SIU. Jeff, can you come here and tell us a little bit what the students are about to do right now? Well, right now they're doing a little bit of a dance with uh, the planets and rotation of the uh, of the planets, but Behind them, there are some balloons that are going to go up, and this, they are to study the effects of the eclipse on the sun. And it's just really interesting. So there's so much uh, scientific uh, equipment on board of the balloons. It gathers a lot of data that they'll study for a long time. So they've been preparing for this day for a long time, and they're about to launch them. They're preparing. We can see they have a balloon that looks like the Earth, one that looks like the moon, and one that looks like the sun. Yes, it, it turns out that the, the, balloons, the, the, balloons are, the real balloons are behind them farther, and you can see uh, like over there where the, the people in black are. So, yes, they're really excited. They've been doing, preparing for two years, really. So here at Carbondale, we have limited access, but we expect how many people? We were in the morning uh, live, and it was a different atmosphere. Now you can feel the excitement. Now you can feel the sun. We were shivering. It was cold in the morning, and we're lucky because we just have serious clouds, very thin clouds, so we're lucky because early in the week, forecasts were showing the chance of cloudy. Clouds. Yes, so well, I guess it was, you know, 50% or 75%. Now we're seeing almost none, so we're pretty excited here right now. This is the best place in the country now as it turns out to view the eclipse so we're excited so there's 15,000 people will fit inside the stadium and then about another 15 or 20 outside and if you look outside the stadium people are all over the place camped out and having have a lot of fun so and then we've got the entertainment and all these other things it's just fantastic I, we just noticed the entertainment just started right now the students been dancing we have a painter here that it's about to finish that paint and she's gonna finish it before the total solar eclipse or what the total solar eclipse ended so she's been doing a great job and we're going to continue here in Carbondale thank you so much Jeff and one more thing what can we expect we're not allowed to turn lights everyone was being dark so everyone get will be able to enjoy the total solar that's right it's going to get fairly dark so we want to keep iPhones off the lights off and also during the during the totality you can take your glasses off that's the one time for four minutes you cannot use glasses and look right at it but all the other times you have to have glasses on well thank you so much thanks for being here thank you for all your help and Aisha we going to continue here you can feel the excitement we can feel the sun it's starting to get warm here I'm not going to complain because I know we've been having cold weather in Chicago but we will be transmitting live showing you everything what's going on around two o'clock maybe a little bit early when the total solar eclipse starts here in Carbondale back to you to the studio <laughs> oh yeah we're not going to complain Maricela because you know April can just throw anything at us, uh, but we've got beautiful conditions for the solar eclipse. Now, I do want to mention here in Chicago or even the Chicagoland area, we are going to see a partial solar eclipse, so 94% of the sun will be covered by the moon. All right, stay with us. We will continue throughout the rest of the afternoon with our solar eclipse coverage, and we will have another update and bring you more live reports at 1 o'clock.